I'm Joe, and today on Next Level Bullshit, we take a look at the Memory Healer program. Brandon Jackson sent me an email. I just found your website for the first time and watched your NLBS Top 10 Countdown. Coincidentally, you advocated donating to an Alzheimer's Treatment Foundation, which was why I stumbled on your site in the first place, trying to ascertain whether the Memory Healer program is a crock of shit or not. It looks very much like it is with all the pump sales techniques these scams use and fake websites publishing reviews that have links to sell the product. It looks like it has been well thought through as to how people determine if something is a scam or not. Google it. But if there are other reviews saying it works and here is why, how can you buy it? I imagine there are a lot of people, like you because of your granddad, who would be susceptible to this scam. Might be something for you and your team of enormous skeptical brains to review and rip to pieces? All the best and more power to you. Cheers. All right, challenge accepted. Let's see if there's some bullshit. Now, after the research, we found the origins of the memory healer claims. We'll start there. On August 8th of 2014, Yale released their findings about a compound they've been working on to prevent Alzheimer's or dementia, TC2153. It's a compound that prevents the protein STEP from destroying the brain's ability to learn and retain. The STEP protein was discovered by Dr. Paul Lambroso and is the leading author on the TC2153 study. Put Paul Lambroso in the googly machine and you'll confirm he's a bona fide science stud with a medical degree from Albert Einstein College. All right, store that away. Let's move on. A month and a half later, on September 25th, 2014, MemoryHealer.com was created. It was created by Alexander Lynch, pretty much a ghost online, except his story on the Memory Healer webpage. He was nearly killed by his own father, who was suffering from dementia, when he was mistaken for an intruder. Since that day, he's been endlessly researching studies and treatments for Alzheimer's. By putting out a Craigslist ad for someone experienced in Alzheimer's research, <laughs> seems a good way to find a scientist. Now, Dr. Ron Goldman responded. Alexander claims Goldman worked as a drug researcher for 25 years and has written extensively on aging and the step enzyme. Now, all right, okay guys, seriously. If you're gonna present yourselves as experts on aging, the least you could do is spell it right. Anyway, he wrote extensively, right? Except that Google Scholar has nothing from him. Now, we did find Ron Goldman, who is an advocate for children and against circumcision. He actually does a lot of good work. But that's not him, that can't be it. We're looking for a guy with science credentials that's been researching drugs for 25 years. But there's nothing. Just sales spam for memory healer and some scam reviews. All right, whatever. So we have two unknowns get together to effectively improve and retain your memories. And we're gonna do it the all natural way to avoid dangerous chemicals like oil derivatives, gasoline derivatives, and other things you don't want in your body. Now, remember that TC2153? These two unknowns claim to achieve TC2153 by breaking up fruits, vegetables, oils, and flour extract. TC2153, as published in the Yale study, is actually this pretty unpronounceable complex compound. If we take a look at what they present on their website, there's a lot of spelling errors and two apparently made up words. There's no such thing as benzyle alcohols. Maybe they meant benzyl alcohol which is a colorless liquid with a mild, pleasant, aromatic odor, and is used as a general solvent for inks, paints, lacquers, and epoxy resin coatings, and is used as a preservative in intravenous medications. Also a photographic developer, used in nanowires, and so on. But it's most certainly not found in juice, teas, or oils as the memory healer website claims. There's also no such thing as Thai floral methyl, Perhaps they meant trifloral methyl. It's a compound created in the lab that does not occur naturally in nature. Definitely not in fruit juices as claimed by the Memory Healer program. All right, so getting back to the science at Yale. TC2153 is a drug compound. 
Science Daily defines a compound as a chemical substance consisting of two or more different chemically bonded chemical elements with a fixed ratio determining the composition. High school chemistry students know this, so does anyone who watched Breaking Bad. Compounds can occur naturally, like salt. New drug compounds that don't occur in nature are created in a pharmaceutical lab. Not in your stomach from eating fruits and salt. These guys are using sciencey sounding made up words to convince the average person that their bullshit doesn't stink. Would you trust a product from guys like this pushing it? Everyone, first off, let me just say that this very lucrative product has helped me tremendously so far and I couldn't be happier. And so since I'm satisfied, I know you'll be too. And if you'd like to receive the same discount code and of course save a huge chunk of money, well, grab it down below in the description. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Absolutely not. And what about this uh, robot voice? I've been receiving so many calls, emails, and SMS about a newly launched product named Memory Healer, which are a practical research, and then give you my review of the product. So here it is. Memory Healer Advantages. Here are a few of what I really loved probably the most about the Memory Healer program. When you receive a product dependent on study completed at a top tier school like Yale, you realize you've received something impressive and efficient. That robot just lied to you. It said when you receive a product dependent on a study completed at a top tier school like Yale. This dietary program is in no way tied to the Yale Medical School. Also, if you suffer through the entire thing like we did, it's not a product review. The robot is just reading marketing copy. And here's another review that blatantly lies to you. Hi there, guys. Uh, thanks for watching another video review brought to you by ReviewHutch.com. Lynch, and what's and here's actually a story uh, that he's going to you know tell you, which is 100% you know 100% uh, true. So it's a method that's based on breakthrough research conducted by a team of scientists at Yale University. So it's already been proven to be effective as well. This review hutch guy isn't reviewing the product. He's just reading off the Memory Healer website. And he says it's already proven to be effective. Now, yeah. TC2153 is only showing results in mice. There have been no human trials. So the bullshit is strong here. A month and a half after Yale publishes their findings, Alexander Lynch and Dr. Ron Goldman, whoever that is, has developed a natural, proven regimen. There are no legitimate reviews of the program, and there's even less information about its creators. There's only one all-natural treatment that has been consistent in helping Alzheimer's patients. But medical marijuana needs to be legal where you live. And that certainly would have helped my granddad, who died of Alzheimer's. So, memory healer people, Alexander Lynch and Ron Goldman, your bullshit smells pretty strong. We're going to give you a strong bullshit score, but I'm sure we have a few viewers who know the science better than we do and can advise if it needs to be higher. And there it is, episode 32. I want to thank all our viewers and commenters for being pretty awesome. Our Reptoid video got a lot of comments. Kevin Carney said, NLBS really separates the real from the BS. Chris Valroth said, Great explanation of video artifacts. I work in video production myself, and I thought this is a fine breakdown. Thanks, dude. Chris John Kane said, You forgot to count a shit at 334. Thanks. So, what is the fucking total of the day? Only four today. All right. Cool. Each time it reaches $100, I'm going to donate to charity. This first time, since my granddad died of Alzheimer's, it's going to the Alzheimer's Foundation of America. Now, if you find a story that you think is bullshit worthy, post it on any social media network using hashtag NLBS. Also, we encourage you to create a video if you think it's really next level bullshit worthy and we'll include it in our next segment. You can always email me anytime at joe at nextlevelbullshit.com. And don't forget to go to thenlbs.spreadshirt.com to get shirts and other Next Level Bullshit swag. And we'll see you next time with more Next Level Bullshit. Follow us on Twitter, subscribe on YouTube, and watch all our shows on nextlevelbullshit.com. In the meantime, 
be careful out there. The conservative Tribune set on an alert. Apparently, only white folk are allowed to open carry.